let's look at a problem where we have to solve a fraction okay and you can also refer to class 6 various concepts of fraction where you want to learn the basics of fractions again so what do we have here we have 6 upon 11 1 fraction plus second fraction minus third fraction now how do you want to simplify this let's see so the first step is you take the LCM of all denominators so you have 11 you have 14 and you have 21 right if I divide this by 7 11 is unaffected 14 will give me 2 21 will give me 3 right now is there any number which divides both either uh, two or more of these numbers the answer is no hence the LCM will be what 7 into 11 into 2 into 3 you can watch our videos on LCM to see why this thing works so this will give you 2 into 3 is 6 6 into 11 is 66 66 into 7 will give you 462 right so when you find out the answer to this fraction this will have 462 as the denominator because the LCM of all the denominators becomes this the denominator now to see basically how does it fare in terms of each one of these so let's take first 6 upon 11 so how do we arrive at each of the numbers here we will take the denominator we will divide it by the denominator of this and we will multiply it by the numerator right so when you do this the solutions will be what 11 will go into 462 how many times 11 fours are 44 22 42 times 6 into 42 is how much 240 plus 12 252 plus 462 the denominator divided by the denominator of the second fraction 14 into the numerator so if you cancel out 14 and 46 what do you get 3 times 14 is 42 40, 46 minus 42 is 4 so 4 goes here 33 33 into 3 is 99 there is a plus sign here you put in plus and then 99 minus again 462 divided by 21 into the numerator 2 so 21 2 times okay 4 carried again 2 times 22 into 2 44 right so what do we get here 252 plus 99 351 minus 44 will give you 307 upon 462 which is the answer in a simplified form of this complex fraction so how did we do this we just simply did it by finding out the denominators of these three and taking their LCM the LCM becomes the denominator of the answer then for each of the fractions we, uh, we divide the LCM of all the denominators by their denominator and multiply it with the numerator as we did this for all the three of them we got the answer as 307 right